Let's talk a little bit about urea. Um, and I mentioned this the other day. We think of urea as a waste product, and that's true, it is. But because it is so stable, and it's, um, you, you need so much of it to have toxicity happen, that in the kidney, the, the kidney also uses urea as a solute, right? Just kind of like it uses sodium as a way to generate osmolarity, okay? I think the easiest way to look at this is to follow the urea through the nephron, right? So urea, tiny molecule, freely filter at the glomerulus, okay? So here in the first part of the proximal convoluted tubule, 100% of what was filtered is still, in the, um, is still in the urine, right? Because it hasn't gone anywhere. Now, we get some obligate reabsorption proximal convoluted tubule is obligately reabsorbing everything, right? So um, we, we pull some urea out uh, there. As we um, go further down, okay, we'll see that as the water is pulled out in the descending limb, our urea concentration is increasing, all right? The concentration is increasing. The total, volume, the total solute remaining, though, has changed a little because some of the urea was reabsorbed, right? So we have between 4.5 and, and 15, we have two things happening. Some urea is lost to reabsorption, and then some water is pulled out, so we increase our concentration. Both things are happening, all right? From there, okay, so now we're in the descending limb. We're gonna come around and head back up, okay? So this um, 15, the concentration of urea in this section, stays relatively constant now as we come around the bend and we go back up and then down. Now when ADH is present, we have urea transporters that are open. Okay, so as the urea passes through the, the, the concentrated medulla, some of the urea actually goes from collecting ducts towards the interstitium around the nephron loop. It adds to the osmolar gradient, okay? So countercurrent multiplication is stacking up this sodium concentration Add to that urea recirculation, and we are adding to the amount of solute that's present in the interstitium. More solute is a greater ability to concentrate the urine, right? <clears throat> so that by the time our, when ADH is present, our urine becomes much more concentrated. Now you'll also see some total only 20% of the urea that was filtered actually makes it into the urine. That means 80% was reabsorbed, which means for every, it takes five times through the nephron to get rid of one molecule of urea. Right, Siri? <laughs> right, you see that? So if, if we only get 20% of the 100%, that's one fifth, all right? So that means in order to get rid of um, all of that, we have to go through five times.